Hey guys, Andy here, and today I just want to make a little raw, uncut video to uh, to talk to you guys about some stuff. So I'm in the middle of working on some new Eric Mealtime videos, so I didn't want to sit down and make like an edited video today, because I uh, took the holidays off and I got to catch up on some stuff. But in any event, I just wanted to talk to you guys about... Some things I've been thinking about for a while now, and that is just kind of where do I go on YouTube? You know, not really like a what type of videos should I talk about? What kind of videos are you guys interested in? Uh, it goes a little beyond that. So, as you guys know, I've been saying for a while now, I've been on the YouTube platform for going on 15 years now, and I just turned 35 earlier this month. And I'm starting to look at, <laughs> as I'm looking at myself in the monitor here. But uh, I've just been thinking about, you know, what do I, where do I go from here as far as my own YouTube stuff goes. Um, I've just been really busy putting together videos for other people, whether it's other YouTube channels or uh, other production companies, things like that. And it's left me with less and less time, and especially now that I'm getting older, less and less energy to want to sit down and make my own stuff. And it's something I've been really um, trying to come to terms with as far as where do I go on YouTube. And you know, I've just been of the mentality that I've been doing this for so long that I don't want to, to give up on it completely, you know. And I've been trying to, to balance the two things, you know, just have my personal youtube -y stuff and just kind of the Andy japan -y stuff and then the video editing tutorials and just kind of have that as more of like a, a side hobby sort of deal. And then the, uh, the paid work is its own thing. But, you know, with more and more paid work coming in, it's starting to affect um, just my own videos. That I want to put out, put out because it's made me very inconsistent in terms of things. Um, you know, it's just been really hard to to balance and get some sort of a of consistency in a schedule and all that with uh, my own content. And I feel really bad because I know you guys have been wanting some more like anti Japani content where I go out and uh, explore Japan, but obviously with uh, what's going around <laughs> out there it's uh it's a little difficult but you know hopefully you know things will start clearing up a little bit next year 2021 Ooh. so I'm, I'm hoping to make some more content out there at least that was the plan anyway but just the more i've been thinking about it i just don't know how long i got left on on youtube you know, it's YouTube used to be just kind of a fun little hobby where you share your life and get to talk with other people and just kind of do your thing. And, you know, there wasn't like too much seriousness behind it. But YouTube has just gotten like so competitive over these past couple of years to where like if you're not going, you know, hardcore into something and if you're not like doing YouTube full time, basically then nobody's going to watch your, your channel. Nobody's going to watch your videos. Nobody's going to give a fuck about you. And you'll just get lost in the algorithm. You know, so then you'll end up with just like a handful of views and maybe a good job comment and a whole bunch of spam bots and all this other shit. And it's hard, man. It's hard. You know, I see a lot of really good channels out there and, you know, I want to see them do good. But it's really hard to, to break through all the noise. And for my situation in particular, it's it's really different because, you know, I'm still making content, just not for myself and my channels. It's for, for other people. And that content's doing really well. And, you know, I do feel, you know, a sense of, of pride in putting together that content, you know, and seeing not only how my clients react to it, but also how their audiences react to it too. And, you know, it gives me a really really good uh, deep sense of, of satisfaction so people can try to dunk on me for my low numbers and all this that and the other but to me it's just 
kind of irrelevant, really, because, <laughs> you know, I get my satisfaction elsewhere. But at the same time, you know, I still feel like I have something to contribute as a content creator in my own right. But, you know, it's just hard to to make that balance, you know, to to balance out this influx of gigs and opportunities coming my way um, versus trying to do my own thing and setting aside time uh, to make my own content. Not to mention just time for myself to just be a person, you know. Um, I went and bought myself a Nintendo Switch as a graduation slash birthday slash Christmas gift to myself earlier this month. And it's just been so liberating to just sit down and play video games without having to worry about, oh, what did somebody say on Twitter? Oh, shit, did I answer comments on Instagram? Oh, did I miss uh, some comments on YouTube? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? You know, because I don't want to neglect my audience because I don't want to be one of those, like, big fancy YouTubers who doesn't talk to their audience. You know, I'm, I pride myself on my engagement with you guys, you know, even though, yeah, you know, if you want to compare numbers, I don't have a whole lot relative to other YouTubers. But, you know, those metrics aren't what I measure my success in. It's, you know, in talking with you guys and having that good, strong sense of community that's what I measure my success with but you know just over the years it's just been really difficult trying to to balance everything out and you know I've just been feeling really bad about the whole situation you know because it's just it kind of is what it is you know like do I focus more on developing myself as a video editor for hire or do I go more all in with my own content? And at this point, you know, I've been trying to balance the two, but it's getting getting to like a critical point to where I won't be able to do that anymore. So um, I think, you know, in addition to it being the holidays and views are going to be down now that Christmas is over because leading into quarter one, nobody's really going to be watching a whole lot of YouTube. So I think I'm just going to take some time to uh, to really reflect on some things. Uh, I might put out videos, but no guarantees. But I think I'm just going to take some time to uh, to think about things and figure out like where I really want to go on YouTube, if I want to continue doing YouTube. And yeah, I really am uh, looking forward to hearing you guys' thoughts in the comments down below in the boopy boops as far as uh, what I should do with this uh, particular situation because I don't want to abandon you guys. You know, you guys have really helped keep me sane during these very uncertain times. But at the same time, you know, I got to start thinking more about uh, the, my uh, finances and building myself up. And if I really want to be about this video editor life, then I got to get my ass on with that. So, just kind of where I'm at right now. So, sorry if this video is a little all over the place, but uh, I just wanted to, uh, to talk about some things that have been on my mind for a while. So, with all that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Maybe. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Bye.